Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. It's Kathy Roganella. And I'm Nancy. And for once, you're like taller than me. Yeah, I'm sitting up. It must be the the angle of the... Oh, well. Be. Oh, well. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Because she's not... She, she used I to be taller than, than her. She used to be taller than me. I used to be the shortest one in the family of the three you girls. Did? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. anyway, we have some stitching stuff to tell you about today. Mm -hmm. And I want to say congratulations to our random winner for this beautiful pattern by the Bent Creek. It's called Thankful Quaker. Mm -hmm. This, um, I think we asked a question about, do you eat turkey? Didn't have to be whether you celebrate a Thanksgiving or not, but do, do you eat turkey? And I'm surprised at how many people love turkey. And then there's some like me who mm -hmm. once a year is good enough. So. We do have a winner. This is the chart you're going to receive. You'll never believe who the winner is. You'll be shocked. Well, maybe they won't be shocked, but oh. I was shocked. So I'm very happy to who won this. It's my friend from Northern Florida, Miss Melody Bryan. Yay, Melody. Melody, Yay. we know your address. We'll just mail the chart out so you don't have to get a hold of us. We know where you live. <laughs> I wish I was coming to Florida. I would personally deliver it for you. Cool. That would be fun. So congratulations, Melody. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you, everyone. Everyone, the comments were all awesome. All the wonderful things. Oh, I have to tell a little Thanksgiving story. Oh, okay. So yesterday we were at my house uh, for dinner. We cooked, actually my husband made the turkey. I made the sides. We asked, I asked Nancy to bring her. She has this really good um, broccoli, coleslaw, mm -hmm. sometimes cauliflower. She just puts mm -hmm. different veggies in there. Mixed with what? Sour cream and ranch sour dressing. Sour cream and ranch dressing. So, mm -hmm. so I asked her to bring it, and then um, I made mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes. Even though it doesn't really, it, you have to. It's Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Stuffing. My mother's stuffing was wonderful. Delicious. So we sit down, we eat the whole meal. Stuffing. We had a ham. We had turkey. We had the mash. I told you all that already. Um, oh, green beans. We're all done eating, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I made fresh cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. I don't make the jelly kind. I make it, I like the chunks of cranberry in there. Never put that out. We never put out her salad. I don't okay. know where my mind was. What else did I forget? I forgot one more thing, I think. Cranberries. Yeah, I only thought it was just those just two. Just those two? Mm-hmm. And then I... Cooked extra green beans that, ugh, I okay. hope they're not. We'll be eating green beans for a yeah, couple Yeah, we're going to be eating. My husband bought so many green beans. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. And the rolls, I almost burnt them. We don't eat the rolls, and I stuck them in the oven, but I think the timer didn't even ding yet, and but they were on the bottom shelf because the turkey, everything was up higher. But anyway, we had a great yeah, good, Thanksgiving. Good it was Thanksgiving. very delicious. Oh, I ate so much food, and I get to do it all again. Today is the day after Thanksgiving. Today is... Yes. 29th of November. Yes, and it is Black Friday. We did not have any Black Friday sales. I wasn't prepared. We'll probably do something maybe for like the end of the year. Maybe something around Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we did have a few new customers, people that were yeah. from out of state and in town visiting relatives. and Googled. A lot of them. Lot. Wednesday yeah. too. Yeah, a lot of new people. And Googled cross-stitch shop and boom, we pop up. So yeah. Google's awesome. our good friend. Yes. So. All right, what are we going to do next? Well, I should show your big finishes. Some of you oh, might have seen it on yeah. uh, Facebook. Facebook and Instagram. Yay. Yeah, I just posted last night to Instagram. Here, I'm gonna, you want to put, put, put it on here? And then cool. I'll hold it up. Yay, I'm so happy. Nancy had oh. an awesome finish. Here's. Oh, this is the chart. This shirt. It's a Star Spangled Swine Farm mm -hmm. by Hands On Design. Mm -hmm. Kathy Haberman. Blinged it out just a smidge. I used some Krynik. I was telling you guys I used Krynik. This is her finished piece. I added Krynik in the tree as well. All the little flowers in the center is blue Krynik. And then I had some red Krynik and I did the tree. It so, turned out really, really cute. It's awesome. I, I want to see it. if this is more represent. Can you see the color of the blue? It's kind of like a gray, smoky blue. Mm -hmm. Back here, it looks a little more washed out. But yeah. It was Pictureless Plus 36 Count Storm. Very nice. So, congratulations. It looks beautiful. It's beautiful. Can't Thanks. wait to frame it or whatever we're going to do with yeah. it. Thank you, Priscilla and Kathy, for yeah. your lovely design. 
I'm Very happy. nice. And I love the new one, the Holly Jolly Farm. Oh, one. I love it too. I don't know if I brought a copy of that as a new one. Oh, I did. Oh, I while do. we're here, even though it's new stuff, this is their new one. I'm sure you've seen it. It's been all over social media. This is Holly Jolly Farm. And this one too, and I, I neglected to read the notes. Kathy um, Haberman sends out like an email with all the supplies you need. And um, I forgot to notice that you need these joy buttons if you want to stitch it with the joy. So I have to order those buttons yet. Yeah, but we have the pins and I'm like, where the heck are the pins? But they, they are up there. Mm -hmm. Very cute. I love this one. Priscilla, good job. Thank you. It's, it's really super cute. I might be stitching another one. And did you guys one. notice that the chicken is leading the pack of reindeer? Cool. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. I might have to add that to my stitching okay. list. All right. What else are you working on? What else am I working on? Well, I started another um, fat, bomb. Um, fat bomb from the Scary Apothecary series. I started that one. That's cute. So this will be my third one. I didn't take it off my anything off my two snaps, so I just started that yesterday before I went to Kathy's yeah. for dinner, and then I stitched a couple minutes at her apartment or condo. Yeah, I thought we'd have more time, but the company was over and they started watching crazy movies and you know how what were we watching? Stupid yeah, it was stuff. Funny. What was the movie? I don't remember because. Like just like your cousin's wife, I thought it was stupid. It's all too. stupid. Yeah, it's she, something like Christmas Vacation, but it wasn't Christmas Vacation. It was a stupid movie like that. That and my husband, he's sitting there with the clicker, bloop, 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 flipping stations, going through Netflix, Hulu, Roku, mm -hmm. all that stuff, going through all of. There's nothing to watch. Nothing good on. Nothing good on. And I'm seeing like, oh, what? What about this? What about that? What about that? No, nothing good. No. I could have watched a billion things. But. Oh, yeah, me too. So, but anyway, since I showed you the Scary Apothecary, just a reminder that if you're interested, if you haven't bought anything for the series, we have the charts and we have the little fabric cuts for you to stitch on. That's the hand dyed by Stephanie, mm -hmm. the Winter Wishes. Winter Wishes, 32, 32 count. count. We have a thread pack available. Yep. And we also have a pack of Krynic that goes Krynic. with the entire series. So. And if you get adventurous, you can use your Krynic elsewhere, too. Like yeah. this one's been doing. Like I've been doing, yeah. Don't forget, Nancy loves Krynic all of a sudden. <laughs> and back to the swine farm. Because spangled. I'm doing, doing that little pillow there. Oh, that's cute. Red, white, and moo. But I decided. You, buy, you know how the other one has? Although, you don't want to put moo, moo on there. No. Because I was going to say, you could put moo. You could do red, white, cut it short, mm -hmm. and do moo on the on the little triangle flags. You could. But it looks cute, the checkerboard there. Mm -hmm. So I went and, and <clears throat> bought a piece of 14 count Ada. This is um, chalkboard. And I got it started the other day. It's, I think it's really pretty. I love the colors. What do you think? Yeah. It looks great. It looks good on there. So yeah. I'm happy. So this is for me, so I don't mind if it's on Ada. It's a lot easier to see this color. So so that is all of my whips at the moment. Other new ones from Miss Kathy Haberman is this cute little mm -hmm. pattern. Have a cool yule. It's would stitch up super fast. Mm -hmm. That's in my bag. And she has um, the shape, I forgot what, what do you call Template. it. Template. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <On> <laughs> Too much website. turkey. Um, yes, it's on her website. Yeah. So that's cool, Yule. Um, what are a few other new things? We'll just go through a couple mm -hmm. and then I'll get to my whips. Oh, okay. So here's Heart and Hand. This is Elf and Around. Someone had just asked me for this and I'm like, oh, you know, I, don't, I didn't see it, but there it is. Very cute. Got it ordered in. I don't know. Usually I get these emails from the designers, but for some reason I didn't get it. If Cecilia sent out a new one, I didn't see it. This is adorable. I love it. Patchwork deer. It's really pretty. We live near a um, national laboratory, Argonne National Laboratory, and there's all kinds of deer running around in there. Mm -hmm. And that would be cute. Yeah. 
It'd be cute if I came upon a deer and like we could put the little cloak over him so he's all like a little patchwork thing. Okay. It's nuts. Okay. Um, some cute little kits we got. People love to do, and I don't know if you guys, how you feel about this. People love to do beading, little bead kits. And, oh, I love bead me. kits. One day I'll bring in my purse that I stitched. It was, um, it's like a little bag. Mm -hmm. it wasn't Lauren Sauer. Uh, Patrick Woods. Mm -hmm. Beautiful okay. beaded purse. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. It weighs like 10 pounds because wow. of all the beads on it. It's so heavy. Wow. I'll bring it in one day and show I you guys. I love a lot of these kids. I just... Like, these I thought were so stinking cute. I so I ordered in a bunch beads. of them. Yeah. It's Snow Globe. And these are just cute little... Um, they're they're tiny. The, you can oh, see the size of the, the, the... So the perforated paper is, you know, about the size of my hand. So they're really fast and easy. And they're like little they, ornaments. They come with your... Threads and all the beads, obviously, yeah. and the perforated papers Paper in, inside and a charm. there. But that was the snow globe one. Snow globe. Snowman globe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is toy shop globe. I'll just do these kind of quick. This one is Christmas tree globe. Here's gingerbread house globe. Now this is, reminds me of that Bent Creek, the gingerbread house I did. Mm -hmm. I took a pattern. Um, looks just like that and I turned it into I needed an exchange gift and so I thought what can I do pretty fast and I took this little gingerbread house and I made it into a scissor fob and it turned out so really? darling. Yeah. So one day I'll show you guys yeah, that. I'd like to see that. Here's Santa Globe and Angel Globe. So if you like to do these quick little beaded kits just let us know. We've got some here. Um, here's some other ornaments. Crimson Chloe I can't say that. I know how to say it, but I, my brain, I'm having a cloisonne, something like that. Oh, I don't know how to say that, so <laughs> go with her version. <laughs> Ruby, what is this? Ruby Diamond. Um, Azure Medallion. I was watching this video um, of these two guys, I, I've been watching them lately, and they say something about expand your vocabulary, learn one new word a day, and then use it 21 times. Like, how would you, if that's cloisonne, if I'm saying it correctly, how would you use cloisonne 21 times in mm -hmm. one day to get it like imprinted in your brain? Okay, amethyst pearl. And one more. Emerald Flourish. These are beautiful. And even if you didn't have a big tree, or you know, didn't want to put them on a big tree, if you just had like a little wire swirly tree or something, those would look so cute on there. Mm Here's -hmm. a few more kits. These are called, I guess these are just a little bit bigger. And you cut around the shape, it looks like. Instead of leaving it square, you cut it around the shape. Here's a flamingo. There you go, Kathy Haberman. There's your flamingo. Here is Christmas Lantern and Celestial Angel. Cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do the big ones too? Um, no. Not yet. I'll do those because I have to go digging for those. Okay. Um, okay, so, so now I'll show you what. I'm just going to say, so what else is new at the shop? Or are you going to do your whips? Um, we could do a whip. Okay. So this you haven't seen in a while because it was put posted up on a board and I didn't want to take it down and I didn't do anything new. You may remember Jack Frost. Oh, I look like what can you fit in there? Jack Frost. And I just started doing this. I'm gonna do it all in one. This is on 40 count pewter from Picture This Plus. And I'm making really good progress with this. I've only been doing it a couple days in the evening. I set up a new stitchy spot in my house. Mm -hmm. And because I do everything I like to sit at the kitchen table. But it's like we eat there. If I do any projects, putting stuff together, I have to do that. I gotta clear it off. If we eat, I gotta clear off my stitching, and it always just looks so messy. So I made a little stitching area in the living room that we don't sit in. We usually sit in the family room. So, so far so good. And then when I'm ready to stitch, it's all sitting right there. It's all in drawers, and I just open the drawer, get my stuff out, boom, ready to go. Okay, so that is my whip, and then I have a finish. Yay, finish bell, ring, ring. 
I'm going to clamp this down so we can flip this over. Oh, this doesn't, didn't turn out so good, but my way of doing it, I just whipped over the, flipped this over. So here's my um, Lucky 13. I'm done with the mummy. He turned out really cute. Seven and eight have been released. Uh, if you're part of our club, those have been mailed out, but I haven't started yet. I wanted to show you guys my finish first, and I wanted to get um, another Jack Frost under my belt there, so I can Very make nice. a little progress. So that's where we're at so far. Okay. okay. Now what do you want to do? Go back to the what's new at the shop? Yes, and then we'll save these maybe for the end. We got some new, there was one more little one. Remember the small one? I couldn't find it. Hmm. It got put somewhere. Anyway, these have been on order forever, and every time I order, they come. It comes in as back order, or out of stock. So, but I wanted to show you guys these. These are beautiful. This is from Abby, Abby Rose. Rose. This is the Primitive Merry Christmas pillow, and this one is Tis the Season. And there's a third one. I can't remember the name of it, but that one came in. It's just a little. I'm sure you guys have seen it. This one is probably my favorite of the Christmas season from La Dee Da. The Christmas sampler pillow. A Merry Christmas sampler. So pretty. That one I think I want to stitch. Okay. Nancy liked these. I'll let her talk about them. Oh, awesome. So somewhere... Not I that I didn't like... I'm sorry, Stephanie. Not that I didn't <laughs> like them, but Nancy's like, ooh, I noticed those. Some I don't know what I was do, looking at yesterday online that I saw this uh, rooftop cocoa shop. I'm like, ooh, let me go over it's so cute. to Lindy Stitch's Etsy page or yeah, Etsy shop. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if Kathy's going to get these. Yep, they came and that's in. That's adorable. And then I also saw this one. This right one's there. really cute. I love this too. one. Head okay. Rusty, yeah. Merry Gentleman. Isn't that cute? I love it. So, but I like both of these, so these two might end up in Nancy's bag. <sighs> I thought I had emptied out my bag. And, but. Stephanie, thank you. She mm -hmm. included a, a little Christmas card in with my oh, order, my oh, automatic. Nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, okay, from Paulette, Miss Plum Street, winter salt boxes. This is really bad. I think the, where we're sitting is really bad. We're going to have to... Okay, let's tell you how our day goes. We work all day, mm -hmm. and then it's like, oh, we got to do our floss tube video. And then we hurry up and we scramble, and we get everything together, and no one takes the time to take this out of here. I don't like taking them out because it's not my product. It's the shops, and I'm going to sell this to somebody, so I don't like to manhandle it. But still, it would be much better. Or we need to find a different way to sit mm -hmm. so that the light's not glaring on it. So I'm sorry for the glare. But this is winter salt boxes. These are beautiful. These might have to go in my stitching bag. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And this rack stack, this was so funny. I thought those were really cute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's you can take them out if you want. That's okay. Maybe yeah. I'll let, no, I don't miss start making all kinds of crinkly noise. Now this one coming up is gonna end up in Nancy's bag. That, that is beautiful. Is just, this is right up there with Lottie Da's pillow. Mm -hmm. This is like probably my favorite. It looks like Pat Ryan stitched this one from R&R &R Reproductions. Oh, or Dying to Stitch, whichever, whichever way you look at it. This, I think, is cute, too. Mm -hmm. Are you sure we didn't do these already? No. I don't remember. I'm sorry if we did them already. That one's really cute. No, 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 no we they didn't. They just came in. Yeah, this is for you. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the Brenda Gervais one. Right. And this, and this is a country winter. This was wildly popular. That might end up in my bag as well. Let's see if I turn it a different way. Maybe there you can see it without the glare. Really cute. Um, okay. okay, going back to beaded kits. We have more beaded kits here. These are adorable, and I'm not in any particular order. Um, these are Jim Shore. These are a little bit bigger. These are like four by fours, I think. This is called Snowman with Cardinal. And these, like the others, come with your threads and beads and the perforated and the per paper. This one, these are white perforated paper. Yeah. 
This is Nordic Santa. Now, when I saw this next one, I'm like, oh, how adorable. Puppy. I might have to learn to like beads. That is cute. But these aren't bad because it's not a lot of beading. There's, you can see all this thread. Most of it's cross stitching, right. and then you just, it's not like the ornaments are mainly beaded. Right. Mm -hmm. This is just a little bit of beading on there. And there's also a little kitty, too. That one was adorable. Here's um, Nordic Snowman. There's the kitty. Oh, here's the cat. She looks like She's a little adorable. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> How cats are, you know, mm -hmm. like. Yeah, they are. Uppity. Mm -hmm. This one is Advent Trilogy. There's three of these. Cute little ornaments. Mm -hmm. They have theirs hung up on like a little clothesline type of thing, little mm -hmm. squares. Those will go That's really fast. Mm -hmm. And here's that one set two. Oh, here's set three. Mm -hmm. We'll do better at this. Let you guys know what's new and watching the glare business. They showed him here's set one. one. These I really like. These are I think more more fun looking. That's set one of the trilogy. Mm -hmm. Those. I think that's it. There's um mm, a Santa with Cardinal, but we sold out. I have them on reorder, but they haven't come in yet. So if he comes in, and if I remember, I'll show you guys next time. Which ones okay. were we swiped our customers? So you can show you. Yeah, these are. These are all flying out of here so fast. Yeah, these are, mm -hmm. We have them sitting on the table, and people just come over and start browsing. Mm -hmm. I think okay. we're all caught up to Oh. Oh, you want to show those? Yeah. Okay, go and ahead. Show those, done. and then I'll do this. Oh, and then we'll, this is the last of what's new in the shop? Yeah. So we had another um, supply of, what are these called? Are these thread, thread keepers. keepers from Sampling of Memory? Yeah, we ran one, out of a lot of our harvest ones, so I mm -hmm. ordered some more harvest. And, and these are good. And she got her Christmas ones. And then I had a Christmas customer who one. wanted a Easter one, so I ordered so, that. Um, there's the Santa. There's several different designs with Santa. So I'll try to show you those first. There's another one. He's carrying a little tree. Mm -hmm. Nice little Santa. I like look that at the one. cute little charms, like them, mm -hmm. little stocking. Right. Another Santa. He's got a sheep under his arm. And a little tree, a little primitive mm -hmm. tree. Okay. Nice. And then these are just needle minders. These are from my oh, big my toe. Big toe. So oh, I thought these cute. were cute. Yeah. I see little that that minders. was a, like a. Half moon Santa. Santa and the moon mm -hmm. as the moon. Cute. And then. Not focusing very well. I want to get out of the way. So oh, we'll focus and on then maybe. Snowman. Cute. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So if anybody's interested in any of these items, you know what to do. Call us or. Uh, yeah, actually call us or email. Um, they might not be on the website just yet. Yeah, we'll have to right. get Missy over here going. Mm -hmm. Okay, and these have been out for a couple weeks. We just got ours in. Um, Today? This, no, mm -hmm. these came in before last week or so. But anyway, I, I haven't shown you yet. So here, this is from Chessie and me. I love Linda's stuff. She, I, I just love her patterns. This is the Mary Pin Pillow. It's really cute. Love the house, love the trees, love everything about it. And this one, I think this is going to go in my bag for sure. I don't know what it is about the sampler, but I love it. Peace mm -hmm. and Goodwill sampler. If I would quit stitching these shop models. And then we had Brenda from Cabernet Mary Woods came and did a delivery today. Of, I'll show you the first one. This beautiful sleigh. Look at that. It's got whoo, two little windows, one on each side. It's got um, the little slip whoo, where the people, you know, would sit up there, your driver and whatever. It is just gorgeous. This, and it smells 
Amazing, because it's mm -hmm. like that burnt wood smell. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this little seat comes out because you put your your little things in the window on the side, and then to cover that up, mm -hmm. you put your little seat in. And this was designed for Christmas. Here, I'll let you hold that one. Christmas blessings. They showed it. Um, I think that other little pattern is inside here, but that little pillow. You could just prop it up in there or, you know, put whatever mm -hmm. in there. Yep. But that's the go. little sled it goes in. Sleigh. Love it. Mm -hmm. And then Stella's sleigh ride. There's another one. I'll let you hold that one. Okay. And then this is the sleigh for that one. And it does not have those windows. It's not quite as tall. So we call this the small sleigh and the other one was a large sleigh. But isn't it gorgeous? And you would stitch your little piece. That is like a really easy finish. You could maybe mount it on some board, you know, foam board or whatever you have and prop it in the bottom. I wouldn't mm -hmm. even bother gluing it in there or anything. I would just let it, just drop it in there. Okay. Let it rest. Mm -hmm. So pretty. So there we go. That's from Chessie and me. Mm -hmm. One last thing I've got to show you. And that is our oldie but goodie. Okay. This is a pattern from Little House Needleworks. It's called Frosty Flakes, and it's from their all dolled up collection. And little snowman, he's very cute. We thought he could be Christmas, he could be winter, whatever you want. He's got a little Christmas tree on top of a present, but that doesn't matter. If you just want to do snowman, you could do him just all by himself if you want. But this is going to be our giveaway they show him stitched on, I believe it's cocoa. I'll take a look. No, straw linen from Weeks Dye Works. And we went just a step further. Straw is kind of, you know, it's dark enough because you want your white to show up. But we did ours on chestnut. You could also do it on Havana. The two colors are very similar. We've been having a hard time trying to get chestnut in, so We've been putting out cuts of Havana to go with. But this is our little ornament. Isn't he sweet? Very cute. I would probably, he shows up fine in real life for some reason I see on the camera. Oh, there he is, I guess. I was gonna say, you could always darken the green a little bit, but he just pops out. Everyone loves this pattern. We put the pattern with the fabric cuts and everything and they mean this pattern just cannot we cannot keep it in stock it just we sell it and sell it and sell it and it turned out really cute we just put a simple backing on it so this will be our giveaway mm -hmm. what kind of question can we ask we should ask them for frosty flakes for frosty flakes how many of you Got up at the crack of dawn this morning. Oh, <laughs> today's before, Black Friday. Before the rooster even crowed <laughs> to go start your Christmas shopping. Or how many of you are finished already with your Christmas shopping? Oh my shopping? gosh, can you imagine? Yeah, just let us know about one of those two items. Um, be a subscriber, like the video, and let us know. And we will give you this pattern along with the, a fabric cut. You'll supply your own threads. You could use DMC. It calls for DMC and or, oh, there's only three classic color works involved and some DMC. So you can use whatever. And there's not a lot of variation in the color, so I would say just go for the DMC. It's just, mm -hmm. just as easy. So... And sub whatever colors you want. You don't have to use what they call for. So okay. there you go. Cool. Were you Very up at the crack cool. of dawn? Sh out shopping. Or are you already done and you could got to sleep in this morning? So. How about this? I could care less about Black Friday sales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can comment that too. Oh, and I told my sister, or I told my husband this morning, I'm like, Nancy ruined a perfectly good opportunity she mm -hmm. had a tablet that she uses, um, I guess, as her TV when she when she's in a room, laying in bed, and she watches TV on this. Something about, I don't know, 
You couldn't put it on another television or something? I don't know why she has this little tablet. I don't have a TV in the bedroom. But anyway, she, um, there was a problem with it. My husband is a network guy, so she sent it home with me for him to take a look at to see if what could be done. It was just like staying in, like the opening screen would come on, and then it would go black, and then the screen would come back up, and it would go black. It was like in this boot cycle. And so my husband took a look at it, and he said he could fix it. He got into the, like, a startup mode, um, into, you know, behind the scenes there. And he could fix it if he had this file. He's missing, the, the one of the files was corrupted the, to be able to make a boot. And he couldn't do it. So what does she do yesterday? I know what she's going to say, but she's wrong, mind you. So okay, we'll ahead. find out how wrong I am. So yesterday, what does she do? She orders this tablet... For herself. And I told my husband this morning, that was a perfect Christmas gift. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> oh, but I'll tell but you. But that would have been a great, because I'm always like, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? I could have gotten her the little tablet mm -hmm. for Christmas. Well, I'll tell you after the video why I, I ordered it. And okay. it, it was a Black Friday or pre-Black special, Friday yeah. special. So, so she started early. She wasn't even up at the crack of dawn. She started last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did that a few years ago. That's when I ordered my laptop. Oh. I ordered it on, I was at their house again, and I ordered it. Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to make sure, since my brother-in-law is the IT guy, that I was ordering the, the, the right, right stuff. stuff so. okay. Isn't that a movie, The Right Stuff? Yeah, I think so. Anyway... Guess anyway, what time it is. Oh, Are yeah, because I'm done. done I'm all done with all everything. Right. Oh, yeah, we did our giveaway, so. It's time for What's in the Bag. We'll see what kind of bag stuff she it's has today. bag today. Well, I might have shown this one. There's the bag. Yeah, oh, that was our bag. needle, needle bag. Huh? Our needle, needle bag. Our needle, needle bag. Right. So, since this is the season of giving, I thought, what better... To bring today for today's What's in the Bag episode. Then just a little reminder. Cans are coming out. <laughs> there you go. I bet you know exactly what I'm going to say. Green bean casserole? Green. Oh, no. Oh. We didn't have green bean casserole yesterday. No. no we, we just had we green, beans. green beans. Anyway, since it's the season of giving, I would just thought I would extend a friendly reminder that... When you're out and about running around doing your shopping for your holiday dinner party get-togethers, don't forget to pick up something and drop it in your nearest uh, food collection bin. Or all those um, bell ringers are out. Mm -hmm. The Salvation yeah. Army people the Salvation are out. Salvation Army ringing their bells. Don't forget it's the season. And you know what I would also add? Don't let it, just because it's the season of giving, doing this in July. So, anyway, that's all. I'm getting off my pulpit. All right, one final thing. I'll make this quick. In my needle group, Nancy's Needle Nerds, I had, um... She could have been like Nancy's Needle Nuts, Nancy's Needle... Minis, no. <laughs> Nancy's needle nerds, those poor people. You we are all them nerds. We are all nerds that's in the group. That's funny. We are, it is funny. Um, so I, what's the word I can't think of? Challenged? Challenged, thank you. I challenged my buds it's for... It's the turkey. It's the... It's, yeah, too the much turkey, turkey is still a... I didn't get any leftover turkey. All I got was ham. There was hardly any left. Oh, okay. Anyway. It's cleared out. <laughs> so I challenged everybody for 2020 to compile a list. And then our first get-together in the new year, that everybody has to come with their list. And... Um, there's not going to be any reward for completing your list. It's just a challenge. Because we have a couple members. Um, one that comes to mind like, oh, I really got to do this. They've been on the wherever they are um, for years. Now I haven't finished them. I'm like, all right. And she's not really a stitcher. She has stitched years ago. But she does all kinds of, of other crafts. Um, 
So we did, we had a meeting where we made a Christmas ornaments just with the round styrofoam ball. I haven't done mine yet. I get to do mine here in a couple of days. But so anyway, um, so challenge them. Do your list of 10 things you've been putting off that you want to finish or start in the new year. So this morning I ran around the house because I have stitching stuff all over the place. And I made my list of 10 and here it is. That's list of 21. <laughs> That's her list of 10, huh? That's my list of 10. What I'm going to do, I am going to type it up um, and maybe take one or two off. Um, I'll never... But Nancy's going to give me the, those and I'll put them in the show notes so you can see what her list is. Yeah. I'll never do this many in 2020 because there's so many... Big ones? Big ones Yeah, but not on all of them are big. Some are small that you could do fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's say... A Savior's Praise, big one. Yeah. Prairie Life Sampler, big one. Dog Sampler, big one. Elizabeth Weston, big one. So, but anyway, um, I am, I have every intention I've decided this morning. Um, I'm going to start every one of these in 2020. Oh boy, she's ambitious. So I'm going to do start one start a month. And then a couple of months are going to have to have, we're probably going to have starts. to have two starts. Yep. So, <clears throat> but anyway, um, I'm getting a tickle in my throat. However, on January 1st, I would like to start a stitch along, if any of you are interested. And I'm going to start, and I'll tell you why I picked this one. I'm going to start Hard String Samplery's His Eyes on the Sparrow. Now, I know many of you have already stitched this, or are in the process, um, or maybe you you know you started and you put it down for whatever reason. You can pick it back up if anybody is interested in joining me. Um, we'll have to do we do the hashtag thing. Yeah, we could do it. Sparrow or something. You could do it. And K. And and K. Sparrow. His eye sparrow. Ah, we'll figure that out. Um, we'll put it in the show notes. In the below. show notes, Kathy will figure out the figure it out for me because I don't know all that. Here comes our little choo -choo. comes the train. So, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the reason why I picked his eyes on the sparrow is because next March, most of you already know, and I already told you this in the previous video, that Beth Twist is coming out with the companion piece to this one so if I want to get that one and I want really need really should get this one done first so okay I'm gonna let Kathy continue talking because I have a tickle and I need to get a drink, drink of water. water here if you have any questions ask us below we'll put um, all the details in the show notes below and don't forget January 1st Gather up your supplies. If you need help with some supplies, we can help you out. We can get the threads, the fabric. She's going to do, she was looking at the doubloon, but it's a little, she wants to do it on 36 count, and the picture of this plus seems a little tight for her. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, why don't you do it on, and that vintage country mocha mm -hmm. comes in 36. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, she might do hers on vintage country mocha instead of the doubloon. But either way, mm -hmm. so gather up your supplies. If you, like I said, if you need help finding them, we'll help you. Mm -hmm. And be ready to go January 1st. Hopefully we'll have a video or two before January 1st. Yeah, so we'll, if you have any questions, just ask us or call us here at the shop. Mm -hmm. But I hope everyone had in the U.S. here had a good turkey day. We did, and we will... I look forward to, I don't know about you, but I look forward to leftovers tonight for dinner. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I'm having. Kathy <laughs> didn't bring me any cheesecake. Oh, no, it's not I forgot. Diet. You know why? Because it's in the in the drawer, and mm -hmm. it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't even think about mm -hmm. it. So I'll bring you a piece of cheesecake for tomorrow. How about that? All right. Cool. Okay, so. Um, thanks for tuning in. Yes, thanks for watching us. Thanks for all your wonderful comments. Thanks for everybody that comes in here and tells us. Oh, we watch you on FlossTube. I'm just amazed how many people yeah. watch us on FlossTube. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. We mm -hmm. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So until next time, 
May your needle be inspired. Mm -hmm. Bye, Floss Bye, Tube. Floss tube.